Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be making a dilution inspired um, layout in the dialogue um, and it's called a waterfall page. So you can see on my dialogue I've actually just cut out um, one, two, three, four pages with a um, curved line. And I've just used a um, one of the dialogue, dilutions uh, rulers to cut out the curves but you could cut out any curve you like on this and I've just cut out the four different pages so you can see as I open I'm going to have a smaller piece in the second um, this section makes it a little bit easier once I start adding the paint to them so you can kind of see how it works together I'm also leaving a little bit of a border around each of my pages as I go along so the paints I'm using to paint these are the new Dilusions shimmer paints and oh my goodness they're beautiful um, you can see they are really really opaque they are really really shiny they're just beautiful they look really really great on black um, but I've used them on other color pages as well and they're just phenomenal so um, yeah not not a sponsored advert at all but um, they're just something that I, I wasn't sure about because I'm I haven't been particularly happy with the the new Dilutions paints since they went out of the big jars, they just they're not quite the same paints. So I was a little bit hesitant buying these ones, but they're just amazing. So um, I'm, I'm a convert to these ones. Um, now they are a little bit more plasticky. Um, they are obviously an acrylic paint, so you can see on the green page I'd been heating up my page just to dry it off because I'm working in a hurry. I do everything sort of all at once, and I actually. Um, caused a big bubble on the green page because it lifted off when I was heating the blue. So just be aware, it is obviously always better to leave paint to dry naturally um, so that won't happen. Um, you can sort of see that bubble there. I knew I was going to put some collage over the top so that was a perfect place to put my collage um, but just be aware that you know heating paint's fine but just don't be too intense with it. You can see on this blue page too I've got some bubbles there as well. So um, yeah that's that's my little um, personal warning so I'm just going around all the pages with some white paint pen just to sort of hide the edges I also decided that I didn't really like those sharp edges on my waterfall pages so I've actually curved them off a little bit more and I decided I wanted to add um, a little bit of a border so I'm just going for this really strong sort of black and white stripe the pink piece that you see there is one of the new um, Dilutions her cutting mat and that's the edge that I use to draw around to get my curved edges now obviously I'm sure every single person here could draw a really simple curved edge you do not need um, a special piece of equipment to do that but um, that's that's what I used so you can sort of see how this is coming together now that these pages all play together so there are there there are individual pages but they all sort of um, lie over the top of each other as you open you can sort of see little different bits of it peeking through and when you add the collage to this um, you're going to get sort of more of that interplay happening um, this piece in particular I, these pages were inspired by the amazing Denise Lush who is phenomenal at doing this type of artwork sort of the um, Tisha Moore, um, Di Reevely type magazine collage. She, she's just got an amazing stuff. So check out her Instagram, check out her YouTube channel. She's got lots of really cool stuff on there um, to uh, inspire you. So she's, she's certainly um, an inspiration for me. And I've seen her do quite a few of these sort of waterfall pages, but this is my first attempt at doing them. And I really loved how it all sort of worked together. The thing that I found fantastic about these pages was it was an opportunity to um, create a series of pages that I could put a really long quote across. So uh, it sort of all worked together, but I didn't need to squeeze it all onto one page, which is usually what I'm doing. So I kind of curtail what I'm um, trying to say, I suppose, because I am trying to fit it all onto one page. So these are all um, pieces from the Di Reevely 
Collage Collective, no, not Collage Collective, that's um, Dina Wakeley, um, from her collage sheets. Uh, they're all pre-cut out. Um, I took a whole um, heap of these sheets to um, a holiday I was on recently and just sat in front of the TV when I was um, in the hotel room cutting bits and pieces out. And it's really, really handy because for something like this, I could just get straight into it pull out a few pieces and then just sort of mix and match them all together. So you can sort of see me, like I always do when I'm doing collages like this, sort of flipping to make sure does it work, Do I? what can I see, how's it going to sort of go together, am I going to have pieces peeping up over the top or am I going to sort of have it all glued down. If you cut bits and pieces off like those feet, keep them in your pocket for next time because they will come in handy you're always sort of looking for extra limes and legs you'll also notice that I'm more than happy to glue stuff into my borders um, the borders are there to sort of give some interest but they're also there to use to ground my figures so you'll notice with this one I've placed it so the foot's resting on top of the border but the rest of her body's sort of jumping out through the border um, and I really like that effect so once I've finished with gluing everything down, you could sort of stop there if you wanted to. But I like to go back in and add some extra detail. So I use my paint pens and funnily, when I'm doing these things, I tend to stick to three or four colors. And it's usually um, pink, turquoise, white and black. Occasionally I sort of throw in a neon yellow. Um, if there's another particular color that I really want to use, but I, I tend to, those are the colours I pick up, I don't know why, maybe it's just what I've got sitting on top of my shelf and that's just what I'm used to going for. So the reason I put um, the black outline around everything is these um, pieces of collage are printed onto matte paper and black on matte never really prints as a true black. So you'll see as I sort of draw around things the black pen the black pen looks really really dark against it because you're sort of getting that true outline. I also use the white occasionally to outline so on the black areas like her hair I'll use the white to outline again just to get that um, contrast. So you can sort of see how that black around it sort of pushes it out even got drawing over the stripes and the legs to make it um, stand out a little bit more and add that extra detail in. And you can sort of go in and add um, your extra hairlines. I always like to add in the whites of the eyes as well just to make them really really obvious and pop out on the page so um, that's just a little quirk I have too but it, it's um, something that I find really really helpful as I'm going along so you can spend as long or as short a time doing this as possible. I tend to get carried away as I'm doing these. I usually when I'm um, doing something like this, I'll have a movie going on in the background, usually something I've watched before so I don't necessarily have to concentrate on it. But um, this is fairly mindless work. So I can sort of just, I'm just drawing around lines that are already there. I don't really need to think about anything else. I'm just sort of going in and adding extra detail as I see it needs it and um, I find it really fun I find it really relaxing and I tend to get a little bit carried away because I think oh I like that and oh well, what will white look like there oh can I add some dots extra somewhere else get my black pen out again so it just goes on and on and on I'm even going around the dots as the little dots. See, it's just stupid stuff like that I get carried away with. Um, I like putting the detail in the hair as well. So if you didn't have lots of colored paint pens, um, a black and white pen is really, really handy. You can use gel pens, particularly on the paper. Um, however, in my experience, and I know other people have got them to work beautifully, in my experience I really struggle getting gel pens to work on acrylic paint. Um, but you know, this is really lovely paper and it would take gel pens beautifully. So if you didn't have paint pens you could sort of get gel pens to go nuts on adding the extra detail. So for example around her eyes, they were just sort of eyes but I've added these extra fancy eyelashes onto it. 
and again I'm putting in the whites of the eyes and the colors and I'm actually hand drawing on a bit of an extra crown onto here as well so even though you know you've glued something down don't feel that you you know that's all you have to do you can always add extra if you want okay but um, my mum my mum's say when I was a kid was know when to stop I don't think I ever learnt um, when to stop because I just keep going it is, a, it is a good thing to learn at some stage you know at some stage you do need to get on with other things but you know if you're having fun isn't that what it's all about so so I'm just finishing off decorating it up the star adding in some again extra white putting in the turquoise and again using the same colors on each of the pages gives that little bit of unity so even though they're all quite different um, collages I suppose and have different color bases the fact I've used that turquoise pink white and black on each of the figures helps give a little bit of unity to the page as um, as a whole uh, as it works together so once I've finished you can sort of see me flicking through to um, see if I like it which I did and now I've got this really big quote that I'm writing in so um, when I go and look for quotes I tend to go to Pinterest or sometimes on Facebook quotes will come up as well that um, I really like so um, I either take a screenshot of them or I um, save them if I'm on Facebook save them into my save file on Pinterest I don't tend to I just go and look for some keywords and see what comes up so when I'm writing quotes or when I'm writing anything particularly in this style I will write it out with my paint pen first onto the page and sort of get the spacing right and you can see I'm filling in the gaps so you know that sole um, I could sort of stretch to fit into that space. The UR I wanted to be a little bit smaller because it's not as important. And you can see I was a bit conflicted over that journey on how I was going to fit into the page. And then I thought, oh, just write it going down the page. It's all good. And it worked. So you don't have to always write in straight lines. Just go with the flow. Once I'd finished writing the quote out first I've gone back in and I've widened up the stems <coughs> um, and extended them so it fits into the space then I'm going back in with my black pen and doing a little bit of a shadow drop on each of the letters so it sticks out from the background um, and that's how I tend to do all, all the writing on particularly if I'm doing quotes like this um, onto my pages it just helps me fill up the space and makes the quote part of the um, decoration in the background. So I haven't shown you writing on all the pages because that would have taken hours but um, here are the final pages. So you can see the quote goes across all the pages and again I'm not sticking to writing you know um, across normally you can write up the page and so on. Um, and particularly on this blue page, some of the words I really want to stand out, grace, breathe, now and journey. So I made those bigger and then to, um, reduced the size of the other fonts as well. So I hope you have a go at doing one of these waterfall pages. It is lots of fun. You do not have to do it all in one night. This took me two hours. I've sped up this video obviously very quickly. Um, but you could do this over a series of nights and have lots of fun doing it. And as I said before, please check out Denise Lush as well. You'll find her details in the description box below. Till next time, bye for now.